What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins. Thank you for joining me. If you're enjoying this content, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share. And I appreciate your support. In this video, we're going to take a really quick look at how to change the actual bar that is happening at the very beginning of your Studio One timeline. So there could be many use cases where you would want this very beginning point to actually reflect something different. Now this could be minus two, or you could have something that starts at bar four, anything like that. In my use case, we are going to be actually changing this so that this position over here becomes bar one. So I have this song over here and it's got a quarter note pickup before it comes into the first downbeat. And ideally, I would like this to be happening over here. And I also want to give a full bar of pre-roll. So first things first, if I was to move this here, that's kind of halfway close to what we need, but our beat one is happening on beat two. So let's just slide this over. And now we have our beat one happening on the downbeat with that quarter note pickup. So now the next step is I'm gonna to go to song. We're gonna to go to song setup. And over here, you'll notice we have bar offset. I'm just gonna type in minus one, which is offsetting the bar offset at the very beginning of the song. And now you'll notice that we have a one bar intro, but it's actually starting at bar zero. And then by the time we go a little bit further on into our song, at the downbeat over here, now everything's working as it should. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. If you enjoyed this content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.